All right, so welcome back to Tales of Berseria. Berseria. Um, so again, I'm a pretty big fan of Tales games. I've played pretty much all, almost all of them, I think. Um, where did I miss that treasure chest? Oh, oh. Right here goes. Oh god, no! <laughs> Gotta be careful not to lose my guard. Uh, but Is that all? We need more party members too. I mean, we're getting close to leveling up. Uh, brown chest is just items. I just don't know how we missed that though. Was I really that oblivious the last time we passed through? But anyways, like I was saying, I've played most of almost all Tales games, and I think... Hmm. My favorite favorite is probably... Tales of Graces, believe it or not, followed closely by Tales of Vesperia. Right, I really like those. those two games. Uh, most people like Tales of Symphonia. I liked it, but... I also really like Tales of Zillia 2. Tales of Zillia was alright, but Tales of Zillia 2 I really enjoyed. Um, and I have a let's play of both Tales of Zillia and Tales of Zillia 2 on my channel. I have one of Tales of Zestria, but I really did not... I don't know, I really didn't like that game. Um, I could like the characters, but that was right, about it. But yeah, Graces had like my favorite combat in any Tales game. Any Tales game. Tales games, by far. Not bad. Um, we leveled up. Um, what else I played? Abyss was pretty. It was okay. Uh, Eternia. I kind of liked Eternia. Oh, what's going on here? Wait, the boars I hunted. Are you there? Maxim 3, never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. Well, it's a lot more boars, but we have a tutorial here. Hidden arts focus on damage and attack range, but use more of your SGs than normal martial arts. Searing edge is effective against beasts. Gain the advantage by exploiting your enemy's weak spots. So how do we do searing edge? Really? Is there not a... Better way. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is what I mean. Like, it was all the same. That's why it was so silly. But anyways. Um, Searing Edge. And this is good against Beast. Then can we do... Well, we don't have any Slicing Foot up. But Slicing Foot is a stun. So we can do Searing Edge, Searing Edge, Slicing Foot. Followed by a... Rising Moon. Whatever. Oh, right, here but that goes. burned a lot of my this stuff for huh, yeah. Okay, that kind of hurt. Oh boy, get out of there. Alright, we got this. Just gotta be careful with the searing edge because it burns through our SG really quickly. I did it. Cirrus. An exorcist art. Pride and anxiety. Pity for the enemy. Thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. Oh. Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine.
I'll drop the prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Do you think I could become an exorcist? Why is it you think that birds fly? Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. I don't know, I don't trust this Arthur guy. He doesn't seem legit. And this game got way too philosophical there with why do birds fly? Well, they were born that way. Alright. Let's go back to town, get the medicine for Lafacette. Oh, we have a... I wonder if those prickle boars were brothers. Maybe I should have let them go. But then, how would I pay for Luffy's medicine? Hunting took care of that. And it means food for us as well. I had no other choice. It was a rational decision. But the fact that I'm still worrying about it shows that my feelings are getting the better of me. Hmm. Well. Your feelings will go by the wayside eventually, I'm assuming. Does this stuff respawn, or am I just, like, not seeing it on the first time around? I, I feel like I'm oblivious. Nico, here for groceries? Yep. And <laughs> you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, Lady Breadwinner! If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You ought to do something about your style, then. Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sail on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh. What is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. Velvet! You didn't forget, did you? You promised. 
apprentice to teach me how to make your special quiche. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please, this is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right! Huh. So I guess that kid Nothing we must saw... Be starving by now. i better hurry home. Oh, well, let's talk to the dog. <coughs> Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know! They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well... They've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> they're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute. So I forgive them. Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's talk to our friend here. Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest. They're fantastic. Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road. <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms. Would it make more money than hunting Fricklebores? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Laffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on. Think big. Dream, Velvet. Dream. Think big? Hmm. No, thanks. I want a peaceful life with Laffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. Huh. I wonder if she's got a thing for Arthur. That'd be kind of weird, because that's like, I'm assuming her sister's wife. Or, her sister's husband. Um, I'm assuming he was married to Velvet's sister. Uh, so we have to return home. I swear, I swear that wasn't there before, and if it was, I'm just completely blind. It probably was. Well, annoying that this game is going to take a... It's going to shift pretty drastically, because this is all to go happy, and everything I've seen of the game, which isn't much, is that this is kind of a revenge story, so... See how that plays out. Hmm. Hi, Celica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. Hmm. A little life will spread its wings and soar through the skies. Kinda sad. Alright, in we go. Well, we didn't get him the medicine, so... He's not gonna be feeling any better. Uh, welcome home, Velvet. Luffy, 
I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo! You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch, and I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist or rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. <sighs> You'll get there, Luffy Set. It should only take... Oh, 20 years, tops. It won't take me that long. Oh, yeah? You better prove it to me, then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. Aw, how cute. I actually like the relationship. I don't know what they are to each other. Not clearly yet, anyway. Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Luffy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. The day before Scarlet Night, Sis went prickle boar hunting on her own. She's almost as good a fighter as Arthur, so I know those prickle boars don't stand a chance. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. Maybe she should try to be more ladylike. <laughs> Little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? <laughs> that is pretty funny, actually. Uh, well, at least now I know they're siblings. Uh, I just want to go up again to make sure there's nothing else to gather. I feel like they respawn. I don't know. Uh, Maybe not. Alright, time to cook. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know. But, but just for today? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach, just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? Well, it's a good thing we've been up here quite a few times. Wait, did I already grab the curry spice? There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. Oh yeah, I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I 
can barely wrap my head around it. Laffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A g girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's gotta be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've gotta cook for you and Arthur since Celica is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what's so... <coughs> Luffy, what's wrong? Mm. Well, are you all right? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny, is all, and it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you, too. I want you to be happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you, too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah, that's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> oh, what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. Hmm. Well, the one thing that I found kind of weird is she said that he could see Ma Maka something, or I don't remember what it was. Mala Kal? I don't remember. But in Tales of Zestiria, I think they were the Seraphim, right? That gave the powers to... Uh, Exercise the demons or get rid of yeah, I don't know. I didn't like the game. Alright, let's go cook. Good boy, you didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. That might not be a good idea if he's like sick with the flu, but... It is endearing, I guess. Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Luffy? You little... Where have you gone? What a little bugger. Knowing he's sick, he just like... You better not have gone to the village alone. Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. He is a little bugger. God damn it, why would he leave knowing that he's sick and that we'd be worried about him? <sighs> Alright, well let's go into the village. Well, he's not in the village. Huh. Well, at least we don't have the quest marker, but maybe he is here. We just, uh, it's just not telling us explicitly where to go. Hey! Has Luffy Set been here? 
Uh, no. I haven't seen him. Wait! That's one of Arthur's! Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Luffy, did he really copy all that by hand? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? <sighs> I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Belvin, I saw Luffy set walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. A little bugger. Why would he go into the forest? And why wouldn't he take the free thing with him? Let's go to see these, uh... I know. He might have gone to the Cape to pick flowers. Oh. Well... Can't really blame him for that. I was going to have them join the search, but... They won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. <coughs> oh, that's not ominous at all. Ugh. <sighs> Hey, Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Night. I remember the moon turned red seven years ago. But what is it anyway? It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's sins. You sure know a lot about it. Lafayette taught me just a few minutes ago. You saw Luffy? Where'd he go? Actually, I don't know. Sorry. Aww. Well, we're pretty sure we know where he went anyway. Um. Talk to these guys over here. Have you seen Luffy set? Nope. Can't say that I have. All right. Let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well. He refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. He likes reading difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques and exotic farming methods, too. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, maybe not. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way. Not happening. Even if he gets better, I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I would worry. And be lonely. Well, that's a little selfish. I mean, but I don't know if he'd leave anyway. Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll take a break here. Uh, next time we'll go and see if we can figure out where Laffy went. Uh, so as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.